Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Quest for Glory 2. Alright, let's continue to be glorious. It is uh, the early evening. The night is still young. Uh, let's see, my stealth is up to 179. Very nice. <coughs> Alright, let's uh, go on into the blue paradin. It is a pity about our friend Ugart, isn't it? Is it not? I can see you are as broken up by the affair as I am. However, it seems he asked something, someone the wrong questions about you. It was just a performance put on for your benefit this morning. Kavin has known about Ugart's water smuggling for a long time. A most dangerous man, Kavin. Almost as dangerous as you are. Yeah, I got a sword, and I'm not afraid to use it. <clears throat> Ferrari ignores you. That bastard. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and stay at the inn. Hey, hey, you stay away. You get, get, hey, this is my blanket. Get away, stupid rat. Get away. Come on, stab the rat. <sighs> you slept fitfully, dreaming of, dreaming of rat-like monsters pulling at you. In your dream, you felt cruelly exposed, but you recovered. As you enter, the sounds of the bar go still. It has been a pleasure dealing with you, my dear sir. What is that supposed to mean? I don't trust you. Well, let's go ahead and walk out the door. Oh, uh, you are under arrest for breaking the law of Rasir on this day, the 29th of the Serpent, year of the Jinn. Come quietly or you will be taken by force. You briefly consider struggling with the guards, but realize that there are just too many of them. Oh, come on, I could take them. What am I under arrest for? What law did I break? <sighs> You follow the guard through the dark streets, past the gates of the palace, and into the dungeon of Rasir. Ow! Bastard. After being dragged, dragged to the dungeon of the palace, you were roughly searched, beaten, and questioned by the guards. They warned you that Kavin will be coming soon to personally question you. Hmm. And that you won't enjoy it. Oh, they have no idea what they what I enjoy. They arrested me for having yellow hair on an alternating Tuesday, didn't they? Bet they did. <gasps> All I have is my sapphire pin. Seriously. The sapphire pin weighs eight? That's insane. Alrighty, um well, let's look around. The kata is thin and looks as if he has been recently beaten. Your equipment has been carefully searched and neatly laid out on, on the table, awaiting Kavin's inspection. The bars on the window are heavy iron and are set in stone. The gate is made of the same iron bars as the rest of the cell. The lock is a simple key mounting. Yeah, so, um... <coughs> Let's see. Let's go ahead and save the game. Uh, I'll go ahead and save it as temp four, temp five. All right. So uh, we could pick lock. You find that the guards took all of your tools when you when they searched you. Your equipment is beyond reach. You'll need to find something else. All right. Pick lock with pin. Remembering your advanced adventuring lessons, you set to work on the cell door lock, using the pointed end of your sapphire pin as a lock pick. The kata watches you calmly with a mixture of interest and suspicion. Alright, now, I don't think we got points for doing that. Um, actually, I'm not sure if we get points at all for that. Where is my list of points? Do -do 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 -do. I'm not sure. You're really getting hungry. Um, so instead, we could uh, restore... And if we were a mage, cast open. Dink! <laughs> they did not think, ver think this through very well, did they? However, first of all, we want to go greet Kata. Okay. 
show pin to kata, since the pin is supposed to uh, be a symbol of our friendship to katas. A pin like that can only can only be seen by a friend, such as such as its magic. It is kata magic. You must be very trusted by my people to gain such a thing. You're really getting hungry. Um, well, kata friend, let us escape this very dangerous place. Can I ask about stuff? Where is my list of questions? I took a break to uh, have some uh, food. Of course, I put stuff away. Let's see. No, I don't seem to... Let's ask him about Kata. We're little folk. Yes, still, we can bring down the state. <laughs> ask about... Dungeon. I'm afraid I can add but little to your knowledge. Well, let's... Uh, Break door. Do, 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 do. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah. I have heard from others in the underground that there is a concealed passage in the room outside the cell. Um. The entrance to the passage should be here. Yes, it is here. Lend your strong shoulder to the task. Do not fear. I will lead you to safety through the passageways, Kata friend. Perhaps before you leave, you should pick up your equipment over there near the cell. But do not dally too long, or the guards will surely come. Get equipment. Do, do, do. You recover all of your equipment. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what? Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and save it. Open door. Hi, guy! Oh. In guarded condition, the guards come in and take you to a cell you can't escape from. Aww. Alright. Let's, uh... Crawl in... Passage? There we go. The kata leads you through dark passages under the palace to a secret exit into the Rasir streets. Sharaf warns you that tomorrow night the underground plans to attack the palace and overthrow the emir. Oh, that doesn't sound good. He shows you the passage that leads back towards the Blue Parrot Inn and reminds you to be wary of guards. Then he bids you good luck and scurries off. Well, this should be easy to... I have no idea where the hell I am. Where the hell am I? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Who are you? You find you cannot move. The man before you has a low, pleasant voice and eyes like a snake. Oh, I am your friend. Oh, I should change his voice. Remember your friend, Adavis. Remember my voice. Remember my face. Yes, I remember your face. It is almost as good as cats. I will see it again and again. You try to struggle, but your body will not obey. You cannot even close your eyes, but you try to avoid his gaze. There is something about his eyes, though. Old, I am your friend. I am your friend, and you trust me. Trust in my words. Trust in my eyes. Look into my eyes and trust me. You look at his eyes and cannot look away. They seem to glow. His words seem to whirl about your head. Old, I am your friend. Stop casting charmed person on me. Obey now your friend, Adavis. Obey now my words. Obey now my voice. Trust in your friend and obey me. You find yourself relaxing. You are with a friend. His eyes are gentle and his smile warms you. Ah, yes. Ah. Adavis. Yes, my friend. Oh, do you know me? I am your friend, Adavis, who helped you escape from the dungeons of Rasir. Yes, yes. You, you kind of had a lot of fur before. Together we seek to aid our friend, Amir Aris. I was his trusted vizier, remember? No, I don't remember that. You find yourself nodding at this humble, gentle man. To end the evil reign of Kavin and restore our friend, the Emir Aris, together we must go out into the desert. We must journey to the Forbidden City. The Forbidden Zone! And recover the magic item that will break the spell upon the Emir. We need to get the Statue of Iblis. Yes, you know this is something you've got to do, but you frown as you try to remember something you once heard about Iblis. Remember the statue of I you remember the statue of Iblis, don't you? It has remarkable powers can and can break any spell it touches. We need to take the statue to Aris. Our friend, together, let us save the city of Rasir. 
He puts his arm on your shoulders and you smile. Here is a man of great wisdom that you have trusted and respected, and he needs your help. Together you will save the Emir. You and Adavis, your best friend, will get the Statue of Iblis. Yes! You there, try walking through the door now. No, no, fool, pass through it. Oh, get out of the way. You have no idea how or why you got here, but it is nice to be able to such to help such a nice man. I cannot be mistaken. My translation of the prophecy must be correct. It must be you. Of all the stupid heroes in the world, I had to be cursed with you. Hey. What is wrong? How does it go? For one thousand years and a year, Iblis will be bound. I know that it has been one thousand and one years to this very day, so it, that must be correct. Beneath the tombstones of the city that he once did found, this is the Forbidden City, there is no doubt of that. Then comes a hero from the Northland, led unto despair. You are the only hero that I have found recently, it must be you. And I have no doubt you will despair before I am through with you. Passing through the door unopened, that he will find there. The door, cursed door, why can you not pass through it? When the moonlight shines between the dragon's jaws, and is caught and held there by the scorpion's p claws. The moon, it does not do to rise between the two constellations until tomorrow. How can I be wrong? I will not be denied! <coughs> I cannot be wrong. It did not say a thousand and one years and a day, no! But how can the moon be where it cannot be? You! You're the hero! Answer me how the moon can be between the dragon and the scorpion. Um... Well... Um... It could be if we had something to... I don't know, maybe get the moon to be where it is not. I have a rusty nail. Where did I get a... It is an ordinary, slightly rusty nail. Where did I get a rusty nail? Yes, the mirror. Use mirror. You whip the mirror out of your pocket and carefully direct the reflected moonlight between the constellations. Whee! At last! And how does the rest of the prophecy go? And at least last the hero, he who waits behind, shall see... While Iblis rises by the Dark One, and the light shall flee. By the name of Suleiman, so shall this be. Now you know all you need to know. Go in there and bring me the statue of Iblis. Oh, sure, I'd be more than happy to help you, my dear, dear friend. By the way, when I get back, you're going to pay me that, uh, those uh, 200 dinars that I lent you a while ago. Oh, for a few moments, your mind is overwhelmed by the squalling, whirling wind. Well, um... Then the euphoric feeling starts to fade, and you stand alone in the darkness. The past few hours are hazy in your memory. You remember only one thing clearly. You are here to find the Statue of Iblis. Well, let's go ahead and take a quick save again. And it is rather dark in here. Let's look. You can't see a thing. It's too dark. Well, it is difficult to judge where you are going in this darkness. It is also very dangerous. Oh, come on. I want to die. Why can I not... All right, rub lamp. Oh, you know what? You feel that you you feel it might be a wall in this cave. It feels cold and damp despite the desert outside. The sound of the wind is mostly above you. Is it possible to even really die in here? It does not look like it. Let's go over here. Oh. Actually, let's go back for a second. Uh, there's a red glow in another chamber beyond this one. The door through which you entered the Forbidden City has closed behind you. Well, we're going to get to a point where uh, we get to say, Damn you all, you blew it up, you bastards, or something like that. It's a very pretty water. The rushing river surges from above, forging a, forming a raging waterfall. The rushing river surges from above. Okay, that's the same thing. There appears to be an opening in the rocks, but it's hard to see from this side of the river. The lower cascade falls seemingly forever to the rocks below. Alright, well, um... Surely this, uh... This should be simple enough to, uh... Get through. Let's go ahead and replace our save. Do 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 do
The swift current overwhelms you with emotions as it sweeps you off your feet and carries you away with it all. I've been swept away by love. Alright, so clearly that's not the way to do it. Do, 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 do. The old logs and other debris come from above. The rushing water carries them deep into the caverns far below. Jump on log. Better get closer to dry land first. Whee! Ha ha! I am awesome. Ah! Your foot slips due to the force of the air rushing into the small opening. There is tremendous pressure here from all the wind trying to surge into the hole, and you struggle to overcome it. Phew, that was close. Well, let's go ahead and we'll replace this one. Why not? Do 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 do. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, come on! I want to. Is it not going to kill me? It's not going to kill me. All right. <clears throat> Can't go that way. Actually, I think I might. I might have to do something here. Let's see. I thought there was something. Do I have to go down? No, alright. Oh. Let's go up this way first. I think we're supposed to do something with that, but I'd rather get a death if we can. Ah, okay. Yep. Alright, well, uh, in that case, let's go ahead and restore that. So it's right here. Uh, let's... Can we break rock? Force rock? Boom! The wind no longer blows as fiercely as before. Alright, I think the uh, wizard has to use a force bolt. I don't know what a thief has to do. <coughs> I don't remember. We got some points for that. We're at 405 out of 500. Pretty nice. With Even with the lamp, the darkness can be treacherous. Let's force the rock. There we go. We'll save it as soon as we get onto the next screen. I was not looking where I was going. Alright, I want to hug this top part, I believe. All right, let's go in here. Oh, the heat of this room is painful. You feel the sweat pour down from your, from you, and hear it sizzle on the ground below. There is a distinct odor of brimstone around you. Uh, somehow I'm just thinking that the room's all on fire. This room is filled with molten lava and small geysers. Hey, all right, one should pop up here. Come on, come on, pop up. Nope. Alright, I don't seem to be able to look at this stuff. Um, well... Whoops! You stepped on something that wasn't quite solid rock and felt the heat through your boot. That did, uh, hurt a little bit. Alright, so you don't take a whole lot of damage. You're getting tired. Oh, come on, give me a break, game. Hey, 
There we go. Alright, well, uh, let's go ahead and save it again. Uh, we didn't take a whole... Well, actually, we did take a fair amount of damage. Um, and uh, we'll uh, see what we can do about getting down. Uh, but I think we'll do it in the next episode, actually. We'll see you then.